Welcome to the ORU Spotlight, everyone. I'm Scott Higgins. Big things are happening at ORU this fall. First of all, the men's basketball team prepping its conference championship defense with the season less than a month away. Meanwhile, women's soccer is getting better every day, and the men's soccer team is looking for a postseason bid. But what about volleyball, you ask? Well, great things are happening in Frank Craig's second year on the bench. Coach Craig joins us to talk about volleyball's amazing turnaround. Frank, welcome aboard. Thank you for having me. You know, last year with COVID and all the crazy scheduling, mm -hmm. the team won three games. This year, you guys are on a roll. What's been the difference? Um, no COVID. <laughs> that helps <laughs> right? a lot, doesn't it? That's the biggest thing. Um, but yeah, so last season, only three wins. Um, it was definitely a season of um, making it through. Yes. Um, we had a couple of girls who were affected by, you know, just families. Um, so that was kind of hard to deal with. But instilling that culture there, being a family, you know, stronger together and getting through it together with each other. Um, was huge. I mean, that was a success there. Um, and then so as we moved into this season, um, we were already gravitated to each other. Um, so the most important part was nurturing our culture. Yes. Um, and that's been fun. It wasn't, hasn't been tough yet, but it's been fun. <laughs> right. Nurturing the culture. Um, the girls were all, you know, bought in. They, they love what we were doing. Um, I have two new assistants. Um, we're very knowledgeable in the game um, and that I trust. Um, Noel, I've known him since 2017. Mm -hmm. um, Coach Aubrey actually just met just recently um, during, you know, she just, you know, new position opened up and miraculously yeah. she shows up from Owasso. Um, and then, so that was a great, you know, introduction. That's what I needed um, to help nurture the culture it was already building. Um, and then when they came in, the girls took them in like they, you know, like they've known them forever. And I sure. think that's been just the best way to just, you know, get better and get over the hump. Yes. And, uh, you know, years before or last season, um, five setters wasn't our best friend. Okay. <laughs> our first match this year, we went to five sets and we win. Boom. Yeah. And I think we may have had one more other five set after that. Other than that, our promise, like, we're either going to win the five sets or we win in three. Mm -hmm. And going into conference, our first two matches away in the Dakotas, clean them out. Got it, 3 got it. Oh, It's been the first time we've ever done that, you know, being away at sure. DSU. So. Let me ask you yeah. about culture. A lot of teams at ORU are now really adopting culture. Mm -hmm. You know, last year you're 3-15. and 15. This year you're winning a lot of games. Mm -hmm. How much easier is it to uh, bring in the culture <laughs> when things are going good? Um, I mean, it's it's really good to, to fall back on, yes. right? But in our gym, I make sure I create experiences, right? Because, I mean, your best, you know, your culture works until it doesn't, yes, right? Or right. until you lose, right? Um, and you get to really see where, you know, holes are. But in our practices, I try to make sure to give the girls the experience of failure or a certain, just something random, right? An intentional that we weren't, you know, paying yeah. attention to. Um, and that's what we do. Um, we create things hard. We make them experience things. We sit there and talk about it. Like, well, okay, how could we have been better, right? How can we grow in this moment? Um, so we just talk about a lot of growth mindset and growing to growing through things together uh, versus just, you know, being there, you right. know, go, going through the motions. We grow through the motions. So we got a very uh, good looking schedule down the stretch. A lot of home games. We'll talk about that in a minute. First, we'll take a break when we come back more with volleyball coach Frank Craig. Welcome back, everyone. I'm joined by ORU volleyball head coach Frank Craig and Frank, the schedule's looking good. Five of the last six matches are at home. Oh, yes. Um, and we're super excited about that. Um, spending, you know, the first half on the road. Yes. Right? And winning. And winning. And now we can bring it back home to our fans, you know, our home base, the students. I mean, oh, we're excited for it. How are you doing as a head coach? Last year was probably a scramble. Not only was it your first year as the head coach, you've mm -hmm. been with the program for several years, but with COVID and now this year, as you were saying, a clean slate, you're winning. Do you feel like you're a much better head coach this year than last year? Um, uh, it's here and there. It's, it's yeah. so different. Like being a head coach, there's so many, so many more things you have to think of. Um, and it's one of those things like making sure I'm growing through it and sure. staying in the moment, staying present with the girls and, you know, being here. Um, so I think that's been pretty cool. Yeah. Um, but some things, I mean, you don't know what to celebrate, don't celebrate. Do you <laughs> say, hey, good job? You're like, do I make them, you know, get better the next right. time? But well, one thing you do know how to do is celebrate. Anyone who's seen a home <laughs> volleyball match, big point or something, you're on there, you're dancing on the sideline with the players. Oh, yes. That's all, that's all genuine, isn't it? Yes, it's so genuine. Um, we really talk about celebrating all the good things. Sure. Um, you know, don't lose a, a moment or a minute, you know, 
nagging on something, right? Mm -hmm. Enjoy the moment, and I'm always there to celebrate the girls. Um, even when we mess up, right? Yep. Hey, what do we do? Okay, cool. We'll move on. Move on, right? right? So the biggest thing is just getting them to move on and having the recovery process. So, you know, don't dwell. You know, we just yes. in the moment now. So and I think that's just all maturity. So, like, Your family background in. is from Hawaii. Yes. So I assume a lot of that just laid back, having fun. Is <laughs> a little Hawaiian there, Right, comes, comes naturally, right? <laughs> um, yeah, so being from Hawaii, like, we're super laid back. And um, we really just enjoy the moments. And it's all about family. So it's very sure. easy to recreate the culture. And Hawaii's got some good volleyball, too. So that's mm -hmm. a little bit of a recruiting edge, isn't it? Yep. We have three girls from Hawaii. Um, and one from um, Cali, um, Samoan background, so four Polynesians on the team. So, I mean, the culture, again, makes it a little easier, right? So Yes. we we'll put a little truth serum in you right now. Yeah. I'll be honest on this question, okay. okay? Did you expect this much success this season, or did you think it would still take a couple years to get it going? Um, I believed in it. Good. And so I think that's what's coming to fruition is just the belief. So I believe in the girls. I believe in their program. And whatever comes from it, it's what's happening. And I'm just happy it is success. You're always right? happy. We know that, Frank. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it. All right, guys, lots of home games left on the schedule into October and November. We will be cheering for you and ORU Volleyball. Meanwhile, ORU Cross Country is gearing up for the conference championship. Coming up soon, ORU will host the meet at Holland Hall on October 30th. Here's a preview. Hi, my name is Megan Lundstrom. Um, it's my third year, and my major is biology. Yeah. The feeling of competing, especially after COVID and injury, honestly, after that, I was a little nervous that there wouldn't be that fire, but there really is just so much passion to running and racing and racing with the team, and it's been awesome getting to know our team here at ORU and being able to work with multiple different coaches and a large portion of the team is new here, but it was really cool to see all of our experiences, our previous experiences coming together and helping us work together and problem solve and just like figure out how to train best with one another. Yeah, kind of a dream <laughs> to be able to compete at the end of a cross country season without snow or ice, hopefully not too, too windy or anything. The conditions obviously can really change um, the results from a race and hopefully ideal conditions leads to optimistically ideal results <laughs> but obviously haven't experienced it yet but yeah just to have something that's kind of in our own routine with practices and um, training and being able to you know have that routine on the night before race day and then race day morning I think will be really nice and it'll be um, first time that my parents are making the trip to go see one of my meets down here and so I'm excited for that too. Welcome back everyone. The collegiate tennis championship season doesn't officially start until the spring but the Golden Eagles are tuning up now with a series of fall tournaments. On the men's side the Golden Eagles ace is Vova Zakharov. He's a fixture not only on the tennis team but also on campus. Let's get to know Vova. My name is Volodymyr Zakharov. I'm from Ukraine. Uh, my, it's my second year in ORU, and I study psychology. It was a new experience for me to play college tennis. It's a really good experience for me that I can continue to practice on the high level of tennis, and, and there are very good players in other universities and also in the team that it helps me to support my level. What worked so well playing last year? I think I did well because of support. Because of coaches support me, team support me, we have a really good friendly team and I think it helped me to do well on the court as well. How has that success carried over into this fall? I'm not thinking about am I going to win or going to lose because it's my pressure for me. I'm just trying to show my best every day and I will see how I'm going to play. What is it that you like so much about your game that's been able to, to win and compete at such a high level? I really like when I play aggressive on the court. I actually do more on the baseline and I like to serve, like when my surf, my first surf is going good, like I feel confidence and I can play on my best. You've been playing tennis for a long time. What was it that got you started and ended up getting you here to ORU? My father is a tennis fan. He was my coach, like from when I was nine. And he like helped me to make this confidence that I need to show my best every day. Why I chose ORU? I could say it's just a good opportunity to play tennis here. Especially in Ukraine, it's not really so much great players there. And 
So if you want to go and continue to grow, you need to go somewhere with a more high level of tennis. What is it that you like to, you know, one of your favorite shots to hit that you know you can do well? Probably it's forehand. I like to play aggressive, so I really like to play forehand and go to the ball. I don't really play on the net, but I, I feel really confident on the baseline. What are some of your favorite things that you guys do together to kind of build that, that relationship? We support each other, we're trying to help each other if someone needs help. Uh, we hang out together, just trying to be like a team. We don't want to be like individual because in the college you need to be on a team. If you're not a team, you're not going to be succeed. I think we have really now a really strong team now so that we can be more successful next year. And next, like regionals, it's going to be a really good opportunity to prepare well, to show ourselves how we can play, uh, to see our level, to know what we need to prepare for the season. What was your thought when you learned that you were named the best player in the Summit League for men's tennis? Actually, I was playing in the tennis club, this, and the guy who played here like two years before me told me, you became like player of the year. I didn't see it, and after coach uh, called me and I saw it in the Instagram and Summit League page, and I was excited about it because my goal for last semester was just to show my best who I am on the court and off court. We'll take a quick time out, but when we come back, we'll talk some women's basketball. The season is just a couple of weeks away, and you may need more than a program to tell some of the players apart. Welcome back, everyone. The ORU women's basketball team opens its season November 3rd in an exhibition game against Rogers State. Fans this season will be seeing double. ORU has not one, but two sets of twins on the roster. Josh Salem sat down with the girls and has their stories. Um, my name is Manaya Jones. I'm from Memphis, Tennessee. I am a six-year senior, and my, I'm getting my master's in sports management. Um, my name is Sanitra Jones. Um, I'm a junior, and my major is social work. My name is Trini Coleman. Um, I'm a sophomore. My major is social work with a minor in psychology, and I play point guard. My name is Taeja. I'm a sophomore. My major is business admin, and I'm my name is Trini Moore. Uh, I'm a freshman and my major is digital marketing. I'm Tears and Moore. I'm also a freshman. My major is sports management and I play forward. Obviously you're from the same family so talk about was sports always a thing or how did you get into it? Obviously Manai is a little bit older than Sinitra. How did that begin that process? Oh I did not like basketball a long bit. I did not like it, but one day I walked in the gym, the coach was like, oh yeah, he's playing basketball, he's gonna play this year. So I started my ninth grade year, and ever since then, it just took off from there. I was mostly into school and stuff like that. I didn't do sports. I was not into sports at all. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I was not going, not, I was not playing. <laughs> but I started out playing volleyball, then after volleyball season was over, I was like, I kind of like being busy and not going home straight after school, so I started playing. So I'm just asking, um, how did you begin, like what sparked your interest in playing basketball then? I, I guess I just like being busy, like having something to do, and I guess I also like watching the game too, so this sparked a lot of interest. And did you ever think that you were going to ever play again together, and then how did you end up here at ORU? Uh, well, my dad is from Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, and he also played here. He got drafted from ORU to Lakers. So ORU always been a big thing for him. So after I graduated from GCU, got my um, my um, bachelor's degree, that's when Misty called my dad and Coach Kyron. He was like, oh yeah, we want those two sisters down here. So I was like, why not give them another chance? Yeah. Are we here now? Mm -hmm. I was transferring from my JUCO. I played at Dodgeburg State when I transferred in, and ORU was just there. On the same team now for the second year, I believe. And so now here at ORU, what's it like to just know that you've got at least one more year together? Um, it's been good, and it has its up and down. Like, you know, some days you don't want your sister to say anything to you after a bad practice or like that, but pretty much it's been good. <laughs> <laughs> it's been good, you know, we, we learn from each other, from our mistakes, you know. I might have say some to her or whatever, help her out through. I've been through it, so my sixth year here. Yeah, are y'all roommates as well? 
I'm off campus. Off campus. Last year we were like, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Was that okay? Yeah. yeah. I stayed in my room pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. All right. Well, we will move into the Coleman sisters, Tyranny, Ty Asia. Um, talk a little bit about y'all growing up together, what that dynamic was. Um, obviously, you're twins. Um, what was that like from a young age, and when did y'all really get involved in the basketball? I would say we started basketball young, like really young. I can't even tell you the age. But we played when we were staying in New Orleans. We played from a young age before we even moved to Texas. And we just literally been playing ever since. My parents played, so it's pretty much a ball that was in our hands since day one. Yeah, basically what she said. Like, <laughs> <laughs> no, we started like really young, like probably like four or five. And both of my parents played basketball in college, so it kind of like stuck, like grandparents too, so like every, like we were always around basketball. Did y'all both have the same a plan of going to play together in college? I always wanted to play with her, but she used to tell people that she didn't know if she wanted to go to the same place with me. Uh, I wouldn't necessarily say that. <laughs> <laughs> I think I understand that, but it was just kind of the way things fell for us. We just decided to go to the same school. It was kind of not like a last minute decision, but it was in the plan. Um, you both came in as freshmen last year. You're now in your sophomore year. What's that first year been like? Um, and y'all have been roommates last year, right? Yeah. So what was that like as well? Um, I think, like, we've always played basketball together, like, since we started. We've always been on the same team. So I think, like, coming in and, like, trying to get used to, like, all new teammates, it's good to have, like, one person that, that you know her game. Like she said, I don't feel like it's much of a difference. Like, we've been doing this for a while now. So it's just kind of different setting and environment, but everything else is pretty much still the same. Who's the better player between the two of you? She's the better offensive player. Yeah, she's the better defender, for sure. So it balances itself out, for yeah. sure. Okay, awesome. We've got Terza, Tirza, and Trinity Moore. So talk a little about what's it been like growing up together. Y'all are basically the same height, you're identical twins. What is that, that dynamic like? Uh, it's been fun. We started playing basketball when we were six, five or six years old um, for our dad. And then through middle school and stuff, we just kind of played on and off here and there. We really started playing our sophomore year uh, in high school. Um, but it was fun, always getting close with my sister and knowing that I had her back. I think it was fun getting to play with like, a sibling because like, not, not a lot of people get to do that. And just kind of like what they said, you get to know your sibling's game. You can play off of each other. And then people say we got that twin telepathy. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you know, you just know where you're at and stuff like that. So I think it's been fun. Uh, I always wanted to play with my sister. If we were going to go somewhere, that was kind of what we were looking for. We wanted to be somewhere where we could both play. And we knew that we would both be able to feed off each other and work together. So I agree. I always wanted to play with Susan. What is y'all's expectations going into your first season here at ORU? Uh, well, for me, since we're playing the same position, that kind of thing, just competing against each other, uh, trying to make each other better, and that kind of thing, just having each other back and like that. Yeah, I would say, like, trying to make each other grow and, like, working hard and pushing each other, because, uh, like, we're each other's biggest fans, we're also, like, each other's biggest competition, we're always trying to be one up your own sibling, you know. I think just trying to grow together to get better. Awesome. Well, thanks for joining us today, guys. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Remember, fans, the women's basketball team opens up its season November 3rd at home against Rogers State, while the men's home opener is Friday, November 12th against Southwestern Christian. It is homecoming. Need ticket information? Check out oruathletics.com. Well, that's our show for this week. Thanks for checking in, and go Golden Eagles.